Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 10. We are learning a great deal on circles. This is episode number 8. Now friends, here today we are going to find out how many tangents can we draw at any given point on the circle. Now in the last episode we saw that the definition of a tangent is that tangent is, tangent is such a line that touches the circle only at one point. But today it is a little bit different topic. Today we are going to pick a point on a circle and find out that how many tangents can we draw at that particular point. So in the last webisode we saw that the interaction between a straight line, line L and a circle. So the line L and the circle can have these three relationships. The line does not intersect the circle. The line intersects the circle at two different points. So over here and over here and this line is called second that is S E C A N T second and then the third and final scenario where the line touches a circle at precisely one point and here this line is called the tangent to the circle. So now that we know what is a tangent to the circle but we are going to draw a circle and we have picked a point so this is any point on the circle and we are going to find out how many straight lines can we draw that passes through this point so we are going to draw something like this or this or this or this 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 and this so as you can imagine, you can draw infinite number of straight lines passing through a point. But what you will realize is that if you do this exercise yourself, you will realize that there is only this one line which is highlighted in bright yellow that touches the circle at exactly one point. So at this point, it is only this line in yellow that touches the circle only at one point which is the point on the circle. Every other straight line will cut the circle at two points. That means each and every of these lines are second. But only this line is the tangent. So that means that if you take any point on the circle, so if this point is let's call it A, so at this point there can be only one line only line L that will just touch the circle you cannot draw any other tangent we know that the line L which touches the circle at a point is called tangent so at this point you cannot draw any other tangent so this is the only line at this point that touches the circle at this particular point A so now friends this is very important to conceptually understand what is a tangent and what is its relationship to a circle. So now so we see that the line L is the only point right and there can be only one tangent like we just discussed. There can be only one tangent to a circle at any given point on the circle. We cannot have more than one tangent and line and the circle will have only one common point which is of course the point on the circle. So now what we are going to do is we are going to now draw a second. Remember that we talked about second is such a line which was the case number two where line L it intersects the circle at two points right and now what we are going to do is we are going to gradually move this line away from the circle say in this direction. So we are going to move this line away from the circle in this direction. So how will it look like? It will look like something like this. So the dotted line shows the previous position and the solid line shows the current position. So let's continue to move it out and what will happen is it will be looking something like this, then this, then this, then this and then this. So here as you can imagine I have there is a reason why I have highlighted this in bold yellow as you slide the line L out on the towards the left the the second will the second whenever a second intersects the the circle it intersects the circle at two points right this point and this point 
and let us say that this point is let's call it P and let's call this Q now as you move the second out of the circle the distance between the P so here in the next line this is P and this is Q then for this line this is P and this is Q right so as you continue to slide the line out you will see that the chord PQ becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and when you get to this point and let us call this point as A where A is this point at this point the line this line L touches the circle only at point A that means the the chord A the chord PQ converges becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and finally becomes zero so at which point the line L touches the circle only at point A and then the line L is out of the circle so this is very important to conceptually understand friends that tangent tangent is a special case of second where the two endpoints of the chord coincide so in other words here we have shown this is the this is the let's call this as point a so we started out here our original line and as we were sliding it outside it came to this point where the two endpoints p and q were consistently becoming smaller 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 and at point a when the line was just touching the circle at one point the two endpoints P and Q they coincided and we got a tangent to the circle 